Indonesia is a big country and has a lot of natural resources. But on the other hand, what about human resources? We will face the fast digital era and how we can play our roles and prepare ourselves. Is it ready to face this era? Hello everyone, honorable all judges, audiences, and fellow students. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zaidan Otman. I am a student of SMPIT Torik Bin Ziyad Morning School. I am very blessed that God has given me the opportunity to stand in front of you on Dynamic Neural Fikri Speech Competition 2022. I like to talk and share my thought about how to contribute to Indonesia development. The government plans to migrate to digital in this millennial era. We call the Industrial Era 4.0. The Industrial Era 4.0 presents many changes that cannot be denied. The Industrial Revolution 4.0 is in sight. Human resources are important capital. The millennial generation is expected to be one of the pillars in Indonesia's competition in this phase. The Industrial Revolution 4.0 provides many conveniences offered for human activities, but it doesn't escape from the negative impact on people. The impact of the Industrial Revolution 4.0 is in the form of disruption in almost all fields, where this disruption must be handled quickly. Disruption itself means a fundamental change, so it's also widely impact. The Industrial Revolution 4.0 is an opportunity but also a big challenge where people don't only compete with other humans but also with machines and robots that have a much higher level of efficiency. Artificial intelligence, big data, cloud, additive manufacturing, and internet of things have become commonplace to hear and use nowadays. The demographic bonus in Indonesia is predicted to occur in 2020 to 2035, where most of Indonesia's population will be dominated by millennials, so that this becomes a challenge for Indonesia to be able to meet the needs of jobs. The Industrial Revolution 4.0 with its disruptive effects is not only an opportunity for creative economic players, but also provides new challenges for Indonesia in the form of many jobs that must be replaced by digital machines and robots. Revolution 4.0 has the positive aspect provided, and also it has the negative ones, so we have to prepare to fill the phase as well. Here's the steps that we have to do as follows. First, learn the right skills. Learn the right skills and related to the digital era will make us able to play more roles and become a player in Indonesia and globally. Second, find your interests. A job or business will be more fun if the job is related to our hobbies and interests. Doing a business as well as channeling our hobbies. If your interest is in languages, then dig into your language skills. If your interest is in computers, then study so that we can become reliable programmers. Third, learn more languages. The more languages you master, the greater the chance that you'll succeed and become a player in filling and building our nation. Fourth, think positive. Think positive in all things, because in that case, we can think clearly and fairly in addressing one thing. In terms of the Industrial Revolution 4.0, the state requires the millennial generation to work actively, creatively, and innovatively, which can be achieved through a mental revolution. Therefore, it needs solution from the millennial generation as the main player in the 4.0 industry to become the key holder of Indonesia's economic activities. The Honorable All Judges, in conclusion, I must say, therefore, millennials have an important role in Industry 4.0. We need to provide relevant formal, non-formal, and informal educational supplies to support this phase and make our country become the great one. That's all for my speech. Thanks for all of your attention. I am Zaid. Stay safe and stay productive. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.